Earlier this month, we chatted with the American Red Cross of the Low Country. While there is a dire need for blood donations, there is a specific need for those living with sickle cell disease. September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, and we're joined by Susie Green. Her daughter, Tamaya, was diagnosed with sickle cell disease and has undergone a number of blood transfusions that is truly mind-blowing. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And in unison, you two are like sisters. Uh, Tamaya, <laughs> this question is for you first. How many blood transfusions have you undergone? Um, I had over 82 blood transfusions. What was that experience like? When I got it, it feel, feels like I'm me again. Like I can do anything I want to do in the world. But to have but to undergo something so many times, Susie, as her mother, uh, what was going through your mind and, and what has this journey been like for you? Oh man, um, to see her go through it is very difficult because it's something that, you know, I personally can't get because of my blood type to her and to watch her have to be rejuvenated by someone else's blood is a blessing, not only for myself to see my child back again, but for her, because it allows her to be a kid again. Um, it has not been easy, um, but we overcome it. And we truly thank all the blood donors, the first time blood donors that take the time out of their day to get blood because it gives me my child back again. Tamaya, how old are you? I am 14 years old. 14 years old. You are so young and such a poised young lady. Susie, when was Tamaya diagnosed? When was Tamaya diagnosed? She was actually diagnosed at birth. From she was. MUSC. And is this something that, that runs in your family or was this a shock? It's hereditary. Yes, ma'am. It's something that runs in my family. Um, but it was a shock for me to know that she was going to have it. And they told me exactly what type she was going to have once she was born. I see. So they were able to diagnose her at birth. So were there still any kind of symptoms that she was exhibiting? Well, at first, um, she was fine. And then when she turned two months old, she had her first crisis, which was the hand and feet syndrome, where her hands and her feet and even her ears swelled about 10 times its original size. And you can tell she was in pain because she would whine and cry. Um, and I had to take her to the doctor and it became a unison thing of something I continually had to do all the time. And she had to get hospitalized at two months. Oh my goodness. So with sickle cell disease, I don't think a lot of people understand what this is. So besides the swelling, what else do you know about sickle cell disease? Well, it's an actual blood disease where it deforms their blood cell instead of a circle donut in shape. It's actually like a crescent C and it's called a sickle cell, and it's very sticky. It clumps in certain areas. You can have not only the swelling, but excruciating pain. Um, you can have seizures. They can go in the hospital sometime for days or even months. It just depends on the actual sickle cell patient because not one sickle cell patient is the same, and there are actually more than five types of sickle cell. And um, depending on the patient who has the particular sickle cell, it's how it affects their body. But with her, um, we've been in hospital over 85 times um, with the over 82 blood transfusions with different symptoms. It can be pain in her body and as in her bones, her back, her head, her eyes. It can go anywhere and be anywhere that blood flows. Now, Tamaya, I'm not very yeah, good at math, Tamiya. but you're 14 years old and having undergone 83 blood transfusions, that's multiple transfusions every single year of your life. What is that experience like for you? Um, it's very difficult. I can't do the things that I want to do like other normal kids. It takes a toll on me to go to school almost every day and it just... It's very hard, but I get through it, and I don't let it define who I am. Good for you. You are so wise. You are wise beyond your years. And for anyone who's watching this and gaining inspiration just from hearing you speak, uh, what is it that you want them to know about sickle cell? Um, 
I just want to know, I just want to tell them that it doesn't affect all people like it affects me. Um, I don't let it to get to me. I don't let it define who I am because I know that my sky has no limit and the man upstairs can take care of all of it. Absolutely. That is absolutely. Susie, you have raised such a lovely young daughter. Um, I, you must be so very proud. And what is her prognosis at this point? Because we're putting this, the word out there so that people, they go and they donate. What kind of blood does she require, first of all? Well, she is a O positive, um, but because of the many blood transfusions she has already received, her body has built up antibodies. So we just ask of everyone to donate because you know, the American Red Cross does a fantastic job of going out and trying to get people to donate as well. And the more blood units that they collect and have, it can help, you know, people like my daughter and other people who needs to live a normal life. So the more units and the more people that we can get out to donate, the better her life and other people's lives can be. Absolutely. Well, this is a great place to take a break. When we come back, I want to tell everybody where they can donate blood. This is the call to action. So we're going to do that after the commercial. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We've been chatting with Susie and Tamaya Green. Tamaya has been diagnosed with sickle cell disease, and we're trying to bring awareness and a call to action for those who want to donate their blood. The American Red Cross is going to be out in three different locations, Monday, September 21st, at noon to 6 p.m. in Georgetown, Somerville, and North Charleston. We're going to put that information out there. Um, finally, I want to ask uh, Ms. Susie, what is Tamaya, at this point, what is Tamaya's prognosis? How many more blood transfusions is she going to have to undergo? And is there any medication that she can take to help her, her feel better as she gets older? Well, there are a lot of treatments that um, they are have in progress now to help different sickle cell patients. Um, but she is on multiple daily medications to help help ease the pain um, when she had them to help keep her hemoglobin and her red blood cells um, anew and organized as in auction it Excuse me, and um, to keep her going. So um, with that, um, they they are doing a great job at MUSC, her specialists and everything to keep her going, her daily checkups and just making sure that she's living a great life is with the medications that she's taking. That's wonderful. It's Maya, you are so, so brave and you've got such a bright future ahead of you. I want to ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a CIA agent, a model, and an actor. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think you can do all three. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you so much for sharing with us. It's good to talk to you. You too. Thank you. We're going to be back in two minutes. 